Welcome to part three of a series of online video training seminars using the iReporter.tv blog marketing tool. In this section of part three, we are going to be covering adding ads and reporting features to the iReporter tool. So as before, log in to iReporter.tv and I'm going to go there right now because I'm already in there working and uh, meeting in progress that's this one okay so leaving off from part two where we went in and did some advanced features regarding adding images and YouTube videos to your blog so I'm going to go back to the my blogs area and go through one of the I would say more exciting features of the blog adding Google AdSense okay so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and bring you here so as you can see I already have put my Google AdSense in and the code is right here now if you do not have a Google AdSense account or you have one and you're not sure what to do let's go there right now alright so I'm gonna go ahead and go to google.com slash AdSense there it is okay so it should bring me to the login page now if you do not have one go ahead and go through the sign up now process I do happen to have one so and the nice thing is Google remembers me so I'm gonna go ahead and sign in to Google all right so here in my account I see that uh, I have made some money okay all right now here's where we're going to go this brings you to the home page overview so I am going to go into AdSense setup the tab right there okay now you have three different options with AdSense you have AdSense for content AdSense for search which includes putting a search box in your website and referrals now we don't uh, cover the search part but let's go ahead and click on the AdSense for content it's gonna bring me in there okay so I'm looking at an ad unit like that and a link unit which is uh, each unit displays listed topics I'm not going to do that right now so I'm going to go ahead and stick with the default there okay so in this section what it does is it gives you uh, different options for setting it up now I should I should let you know and I'm going to actually jump to the blog so you can take a look at it this is one of my blogs beerfaqs.com and we're going to get a little preview of what the Google AdSense is all about okay so here it is I actually have it listed in there twice and that's because I have a couple different things going on so the Google AdSense is showing up here and it's also showing up here notice that it's horizontal not vertical this is the area that it's going to be set up in so I'm going to go ahead and close out of that and there I am back so what that means is uh, you're going to want to go with the first option which is uh, actually the second option which is the 420 uh, 468 by 60 banner so let's go ahead and select that and then what this will do is you can either go default or you can get into actually some custom colors and looks for your Google AdSense so I'm not going to quite get into that quite yet and then uh, here it's showing some of the ones where I have my account set up and what you can do is you can set up channels in your AdSense channels are essentially uh, segmenting out each one of your websites which I'm not going to quite get into and then I'm just going to go ahead and uh, click on single page and scroll down to the bottom and here is where your Google AdSense is so what this is is this is the code that if you just go ahead and click on it and right click and copy and let's go back to 
the blog area and you would just go ahead your content wouldn't be in there you would just right click and paste and there your content would be and then from there you would click go and you say your Google AdSense has been updated and then you can go ahead and click back to the my blog section scroll down to where the uh, beer FAQs which is the one we were working on and go ahead and view your blog to make sure that your Google AdSense was added there and it looks like it is okay so that covers Google AdSense the next thing that you can do is if we were still working in Google AdSense one of the things on navigation in here which may not be as intuitive as you may think if um, when you want to work on an individual blog you're going to need to select one of these things to do which will bring you into that since I have so many blogs I need to actually let the system know what I want to work on so I'm going to go ahead and click on the edit Google AdSense and what that does is that activates all of the other navigation up here and notice that there is an actual uh, link called traffic and reporting so with this what you can do is if you have a reporting tool um, website tracking tool you can actually use that to track your activity on your blog so in this case what I'm going to do is go to Google Ads uh, Analytics and I already have an account set up and if you don't I would recommend you set one up to get there you can just go into Google and type in Google Analytics or it's Google Analytics dot com or google dot com slash analytics okay so we're there and I'm gonna log in to my account it remembers me nice and here are my blogs so if I was going to set up a new blog or in some cases you might not have anything you want to do add a website profile so in that case I'm going to go ahead and add a website profile which will set up a profile for me okay so what uh, what you want to do here is type in the URL where it says add a profile for new domain so it's going to be HTTP colon slash slash so I have a site that I do not have analytics on developers dot I reporter dot TV. okay so you can pick the time zones and all that good stuff and then go ahead and click continue and here it is okay so here's what it's giving us and we're not complete yet so the first thing we need to do is click on it right click copy let's go back to where the area is simply right click paste it's in there okay now I'm going to go ahead and click install and it says tracking code has been updated now do not forget I need to go back to the tool because it says tracking not installed so there's a second part to this I need to finish which I click finish it's important that uh, you're going to need to go back to your list you have multiple ones Go to my next page because it's over here, and okay, there it is, right there. So it's going to say tracking code not detected, check status. So go ahead and click on that. What Google's doing is now it's going to go ping the blog that we just added the code to. From the iReporter tool and it's going to verify and validate that that code is in that website so let's see how long that takes we could be waiting here for a little bit so what I will recommend we do is it note that it says analytics has been successfully installed data is getting gathered so Google is doing some thinking there trying to get it all finished up and uh, there it says tracking code installed data waiting for data so this could take a little bit of time to get it but that's pretty